Here we are with another Amazon unboxing. Let's see what we have here today. What we actually have here is the Selfie Ring Light Tripod. It's a 10 inch ring. This is actually by a seller of the name Gutoday. Now, that's spelled G O U T O D A Y. And as usual, I'll go ahead and put the link down below. We'll hit on the major highlights. One, it's ultra thin. The other, it has a 360 flicker free light ring. Additionally, it does have a wide angle light distribution and it is USB powered. It does not have an internal power source, but rather it is able to be connected to a USB power bank. Now, upon opening the box, you do get a user manual. It is pretty concise. It tells you basically what you need to know, how to put it together, what items come in the box and they should have and how to use them. Additionally, it does provide you some specs on the actual lamp itself as to wattage and lumens and all that. It does have a congrats card and contact card that comes with it. Also included in this is the actual tripod itself. Now, the tripod is pretty sturdy. It gives you the option to fully extend it. And then on top, it does have a standard tripod mount screw. The type that are typical on GoPros as well as most other attachments allowing you to hook up a variety of both uh, camera equipment as well as other materials that you want to use. So you can actually use this tripod for many things besides the actual LED light but one of the benefits is that throughout this kit you'll actually see that this same type of screw setup is used allowing you to be able to use a lot of these materials universally on a lot of different things that you probably already have. And just for clarification, we're talking about the one quarter dash 20 UNC thread. Now it does come with this adjustable phone holder. It is capable of actually fitting large phones. For example, this is the Note 10 with a case on and it does grab it without a problem. So shaking, turning, anything like that, it'll actually hold it steady, which of course shouldn't be happening because you're actually using it on tripod at the time. Now it does come with this swivel mount that is also attachable and additionally it does have an additional thread on top but it allows you to tilt both the light or anything you connect to the tripod uh, pretty much at any angle so that way you're able to swivel it back, forward, left, right, what have you and of course it does have the turn wheel at the bottom as well as this nut at the bottom for Tightening. Now here we have the actual USB light itself. Now this does come with a dedicated cord that's already attached to the light. So it's not a separate USB to USB or micro USB to USB kind of connection. It's actually a connected USB cable. It is attached to the back where it will run flush to the light so it won't interfere with any of the light source that is being put out. Now the benefits of this is that you can just connect it to a power bank or of course just a USB outlet and it will fully power this light ring allowing you to basically transport this wherever you need to. Now this cable does run to a dedicated controller for the light. The controller has the options for on off along with the plus button which is going to go ahead and be to increase the brightness a minus button to decrease the brightness and then you're going to have one option to actually change the hue of the light because this light does have the clear white soft white as well as a warm color which is that rosy color that you see a lot of people use in makeup tutorials now here we actually have the camera wired up and when you actually have power going to the light itself you can see that the remote has a clear indicator in the middle showing a blue light showing that it's actually active. Now we'll go ahead and actually turn this on so you can see the different types of lights as well as the increments that the light has. So first we'd actually have to go ahead and turn the light on. 
go ahead and do that by pressing the power button. As you can see, that is the white light. Now we'll be going through the modes right here. You can actually see that you can step down the brightness quite a bit to basically a usable light for nearby objects. Uh, here we have a changing hues. You have the warm light mode at this point. This is more of a skin tone used for makeup tutorials. Now here's the combo light. It's both white and the warm light. It provides more uh, like natural scene lighting. This would be when you're actually focusing on objects. And then from there it goes back to the cold white light. And we're going to cycle through. Now I'm going to flip over to a video that shows the perspective of a mounted phone with the ring light on it along with my camera so you can see it in action side by side. Okay guys, here we go. Um, this is actually going to be recorded both on my phone and on my camera. So you'll be able to see the perspective from both sides. So on here, this is the current setup. And it, you have a clear view of what you're looking at. At that point in time, you actually turn on the light. It lights up the subject. And so you can see there, warm, additional light, back to the pure white, and that would be the highest setting, lowest setting, off, so it does make a difference, a warmer light, so here's my hand for comparison of the different hues. There's only three hues. Pure white, a warm uh, skin tone almost, and then a combination of both. And then you can change the level on all three until it's super bright. Hopefully this helps. Um, additionally, one of the things is it does have this ball joint so you can see it in action. You would just turn it, loosens it up, allows you to move around, and then just tighten it. This is also very flexible, or let's see, this is also very flexible and allows you to move it at whatever angle you need to and adjust it and the clamp is obviously big enough for the Note 10 so it does accommodate the bigger phones and this is the Note 10 with a case. Now the light itself is actually made out of hard plastic it does also additionally have this remote so this is going to be a Bluetooth remote that you can actually use for your phone you pair it up with it and they allow you to remote control your phone and that way you can actually use the shutter on your camera hey guys i'm actually going to show you how to go ahead and pair the remote that comes with it it's pretty simple a lot of you have questions as to how to go ahead and get this done it's an easy setup it's actually easier than what i thought there were no instructions that came with the actual items but all you have to do is go into your bluetooth settings what you're going to do is, there's already ba a battery that comes with it, it's a CR, let's see here, uh, 2032, so it's a pretty common button battery. The, all you have to do is actually lift this up, the light will blink, mean that it's in pairing mode, and I go to scan, you'll go ahead and look for AB shutter 3, you'll pair it, once it's there, then you're good to go. You're actually going to go into your camera mode. Once you're in camera mode, you'll be able to go ahead and just press the button and it takes a picture. And so I'm actually doing a screen record and it should hopefully be capturing that I'm doing this on it. And I will be putting it side by side so you can see as this is playing out both on my main camera and on the actual phone itself. But 
me not touching it and just pressing the button you can see the flicker it came on and just to show you that it is working we'll go ahead and put the flash on let's see there you go all right in fact let's uh, turn the ambient lighting here on that's me putting steps uh, the levels down there you go so that's how to pair the bluetooth remote pretty simple if you need any additional hints or anything else tested on this go ahead and feel free leave it down in the comments i will try to respond now what we're going to do is go ahead and have a little bit of slow motion fun